Good day, grade 10. I hope you're all doing well. I hope ready na tayong ulit makinig at mag-aral ng bagong lesson. Again, I am Sir Chess and I'm also your subject teacher in MAPE. At under ng MAPE, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay sa arts. At ang title ng lesson 1 ng arts ay Modern Art Movements and Digital Art. Pag sinabi natin class na modern, unang pumapasok sa isip natin ay yung ngayon, yung napapanahon, yung present, yung mga nakikita natin sa pangkasalukuyan. Pero ano nga ba talaga yung ibig sabihin ng modern art? Sabi dito, ano ibig sabihin ng modern art? Modern art refers to artworks produced approximately between 1867 and 1975. So yung modern art, nire-refer nito yung dati pa. Simula pa nung dati. At etong mga arts na to, yung tatalakayin natin maya-maya. Next. Sabi dyan, hearing the words modern art can cause some confusion for beginners in the field and study of art. Sabi ko nga kanina, some beginners can loosely connect it with digital art. Yung lalo na yung ginagawa natin ngayon, modernize na tayo. Thinking that the word modern means current or up to date. Kaya pag narinig natin yung salitang modern art, dahil modern, iniisip natin yung nangyayari ngayon. Pero, sabi dito, modern art is the period when artists gain confidence in their perception of their surroundings. So, ito yung nangyayari no, from the past. How they viewed their surroundings was expressed in their works which were mostly paintings. At hanggang ngayon, nangyayari pa rin naman ito. Di ba, ang basis ng mga artists kung paano nila ginagawa maybe yung paintings or obra maestra nila ay nakabasa sa nakikita nila sa paligid nila. Next, the subjects of their works were guided and inspired by what they saw and or experienced. Kung ano man yung pinagdadaanan nila. Artists of the modern art always experimented and innovated on their works as often as possible. So talaga nakikita natin mula from the past, talagang yung mga artists natin ay patuloy na dinedevelop, nagkakaroon ng innovation. Andun yung patuloy na pagbabago kung paano pa mas lalong mapapaganda yung arts. Next. Now class, let me discuss to you these nine important movements of modern art. So class, may sham na movements tayong pag-uusapan ngayon. Ang tawag natin doon, yung art movement. Ano nga ba yung art movement? Ayan. Sabi dito, art movement is a passion or style of art with a certain common philosophy or purpose. It is followed by a team of artists for months, years, and even decades. So, art movement is a passion or style of art. Una ay yung tinatawag natin na Impressionism. Ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng Impressionism? Impressionism has three characteristics. Meron daw tong tatlong karakteristik. Una, focuses on light and colors. Pangalawa, it uses superior brushwork including large strokes. At pangatlo, it applies strokes of unmixed colors that resulted in the impression of reflected light. So ito yung characteristics ng Impressionism. Other information about Impressionism. Impressionism is a name that surfaced from the painting of Claude Monet in 1874, The Impression Sunrise. So, ang Impressionism ay nagsimula sa painting ni Claude Monet. At eto class, papakita ko sa inyo yung kanyang sample painting. So, yan yung sample painting ni Claude Monet. Again, ito ay under ng Impressionism. Una, Impressionism. Pangalawang art movement ay yung tinatawag nating na Expressionism. Ano naman ang ibig sabihin ng Expressionism? Sabi dito, Expressionism means words of Expressionist movement used vivid colors to communicate intense and emotional feelings. Experts believe that the social crisis impact of that time ay ano, wars being fought, urbanization, at marami pang iba compelled artists to distort their rendition of reality. So, ano ibig sabihin nito? Dito sa expressionism, from the word express, dito yung express ng mga artists sa art movement na ito, yung nararamdaman nila or yung present situation na inaharap nila. Ano po yung sabi? Next, they became subjective and their own personal experiences were emphasized in their works. 
So under expressionism, isa sa mga famous na artist ay yung kilalang kilala natin na si Vincent Van Gogh. So ito ang sample ng kanyang painting na ang title ay Starry Night. Ayan. So itong painting na to ay under ng expressionism. Pangalawa, expressionism. Pangatlo po ay tinatawag natin na cubism. Ano naman yung ibig sabihin ng cubism? Cubism is an abstract art style with a characteristic easily recognized for its surfaces of geometrical planes. Instead of creating realistic figures, shapes, and form, everything is turned geometrical. Magpakita tayo ng sample ng geometrical planes under cubism. Ito yung nakikita natin. Itong painting na ito ay ginawa ni Pablo Picasso. Ang title ng painting nito ay Les Demoiselles d'Avignon or sa English, The Young Ladies of Avignon. Again, ang painting na ito ni Pablo Picasso ay sample under cubism. Pang-apat na art movement ay tinatawag natin na Dadaism. Ano yung Dadaism? Dadaism is a short-lived anarchic art movement that rose as a reaction to World War I. Creation out of Dadaism had a characteristic that was anti-aesthetic, rejecting the traditional methods of artistic creation. Its being anti-aesthetic and rebellious was a direct effect of slaughter, conflicts, and tensions brought by the war. So may pagkagore itong art movement na ito, itong Dadaism. Bakit? Kasi based ito sa reaction nila sa World War I. So more info about Dadaism, sino nga ba yung dalawang founder nito? Ang founder nito ay si Jean Arp and Tristan Sara. Also, additional info about Dadaism. Dadaism is not constrained to just paintings. It includes sculptures, poems, performance art, as well as junk art and themes. So itong art movement na ito ay hindi lang limited sa paintings. Panglima ay tinatawag natin na surrealism. Ano naman ang ibig sabihin class ng surrealism? Surrealism is not an anarchic or anti-aesthetic art movement. In fact, the characteristics of surrealist works are inspired by dreams, fantasy, and imagination. So itong panglima, itong surrealism ay kabaligtara ng pang-apat ng dadayasim. Kasi itong surrealism ay inspired by dreams, fantasy, and imagination. And under surrealism, the works of Sigmund Freud were most influential in this art movement. Sample po ng painting under surrealism ay yung painting ni Salvador Dali na ang title ay The Persistence of Memory. Ayan. So, ito po yung kanyang painting ni Salvador Dali. Actually, may isa pa po siyang famous na painting under surrealism. Ito po yun, The First Days of Spring. Ayan. So, ito rin po ay under surrealism. Next, pang-anim ay yung tinatawag na abstract realism. Ano naman ang abstract realism? Visual thoughts are at the center of abstract realism. These thoughts vary according to an individual's observation, educational experience, and inborn natures. So additional info, sino yung mga influential people under abstract realism? Ito ay sina Franz Holz, Anthony Van Dyck, Rubens, and Rembrandt. So ito yung mga kilalang tao or artist under abstract realism. Magpakita tayo ng isang painting ni Rembrandt. Ayan, The Storm on the Sea of Galilee. So, ito yung painting ni Rembrandt. Under the art movement of abstract realism. Pangpito, pop art. Ano naman yung pop art? Pop art was a cultural phenomenon in the 1950s and 1960s in Great Britain and in the United States of America. Ano pa po? It popularized creating images and symbolic representations of persons and subjects known as iconography. What are these icons? These icons were easily recognized images and were exploited immediately by mass media. Isa sa mga example under pop art ay yung Campbell soup cans. Ayan, ito po yun by Andy Warhol. So ayan, makikita natin sa label ng soup cans na ito. Pangwalo po ay yung tinatawag natin na performance art. Ano yung performance art? 
Performance art is an art form in which the artist creates a live presentation by combining a variety of visual arts. And also, be reminded that performance art is not a theater but an art, and mostly it takes place in galleries. It is often entirely non-narrative, though it encourages the audience or onlookers to get engaged. Sa panahon natin ngayon, applicable pa rin yan. Nakikita natin yan, yung mga art galleries, di ba? Next. Said to be a pioneer of performance art is the French artist named Yves Klein. One of his works is the specialization of sensibility in the raw material state into stabilized pictorial sensibility. The Void at Iris Clerk Gallery in April 1958. Now, another example of performance art ay itong live painting ni Bio Beyond. So, ito po yung kanyang painting. At panghuli, na klase ng art movement. Alam ko lahat tayo ay familiar dito at maybe naabutan natin to yung flash mob. Ano nga ba yung tinatawag natin na flash mob? Anong movement ito? Flash mob is when a group of people suddenly assembles in a public place and performs. At usual ito sa pamagitan ng pagsayaw. It usually starts with just one person and then will be joined by more people appearing out of nowhere. Alam natin itong flash mob. If you are familiar with the movie Step Up, di ba mayroon doon mga sample ng flash mob. At marami pa tayo nakikita ang mga video sa social media. At alam kung alam na alam natin to at maybe ginagawa natin to. So again, those are the nine important movements of modern art. Kaya tandaan natin yung sham na movement na yon, grade 10. God bless you. Have a great day.